Hi Year 11, um, welcome to the, the next video we've uh, put together for you about the Nazi Germany paper this time. Now, this question is new this year, um, so you may not have seen that many of them, so particularly important to, to kind of focus carefully on this one and make sure you're really well prepared. So, this could be for either 2C or 3C on the paper, so it's the very, very last question you do. Now, it's worth 12 marks, which really means three whole grades. Okay, so absolutely crucial. You could think, oh, I haven't gone that well all exam. This one can pull you up three whole grades. Um, so let's have a quick look at one. So here's an example. Um, what you'll be given is a, a statement or an interpretation. Okay, so just like the one here, it was the Nazis' use of terror which enabled Hitler to secure his dictatorship between February 1933 and September 1934. And the question basically is, how far do you agree with that? Okay, now pretty daunting at first glance, but actually it's relatively straightforward. You're going to use a similar technique that you used in the mock um, for the 1E question, which is the other essay question. All right, so the first thing to do is very, very quickly jot down a plan. So think of three, maybe four, but probably three is enough big ways. Um, uh, in, in the case of the mock, it was the which the Nazis controlled the lives of people. Then a couple of quick examples for each, and then a little star saying which one you think is the most important. So when you did this one about the lives of women and children, your plan looked something like this. Three big areas. So they use rewards, youth groups, and laws. Okay, some quick examples of it. And then the decision I've made in this case was that actually it was laws that were probably the most important way they controlled the lives of women and children. Okay, so it's very straightforward and exactly what you need to do for uh, these two and three C. Okay, so what we're going to have a go at in a sec is basically plan that. So you'll see step one is just the same, but I've changed it instead of controlling people's lives to how he was able to secure his dictatorship. All right, so first little task, look at that question carefully, and you're actually going to plan it right now. So what I want you to do is press pause on the video, okay, and start your plan. Are you sure you press pause? If not, pause now. Okay, so you've written your plan, and that means basically you're ready to go. Okay, so you've got your three big reasons. Now you're probably thinking, okay, what's the process I have to follow to do this question? Okay, so that's our next little section. So what I want you to do, for each of those big reasons, you're going to write one peel paragraph. So you can say your point, which is really a big reason, give an example or two of it, and then explain how that example helped the Nazis or helped Hitler secure his dictatorship. The L of Peel is link, is just to remind you to link back to the question. So you really, you're not just saying why, you're saying how far you agree with his interpretation. So how does what you say help you uh, either agree or disagree with that idea that terror was the most important reason? Okay. All you've got to do then is make sure you include a couple of examples, use some sparkle words, so those beautiful connectives used all the time in class um, in those paragraphs, and when you come to having done all three, write a brief conclusion. Now in that conclusion, you want to ultimately say how far you agree with that statement. All right. Now in order to do that, you want to use something like this. Okay. So there's some great language to help you there. So what I would do now is press pause again Okay. and then um, have a think uh, about where you might fit on that line with regards to the question. Okay, last little thing before we go then. This is what you're going to be marked on. Okay, so have a quick look at our marking criteria and think very carefully about the difference between our skilled column and our excellent column. All right, so press pause again, do that now. Okay, now basically you are ready to write. Okay, so what I want you to do is make sure you're good and ready, you know exactly what you're going to do, press pause, and now write your whole answer now. Okay, so you should have written the answer. I can't stress enough, if you haven't written the answer already, it is now time to do so, because the next thing I'm gonna show you is a kind of model so you can see how well you got on. Okay, so what you wanna do is have a look now at the model that I've written. Okay, and whilst you're doing it, what I'd like you to do is make a judgment from our criteria as to you know, how good an answer is this. Is this skilled or excellent? So have a go at that now, kind of putting ticks in the boxes that you've got there. Okay, 
So we should have done that. Now this, this is what I came up with. Okay, it, it mentioned two big factors. Didn't quite get round to the three and ran out of time. But that's fine. Okay, if you do that in exams, nothing to panic about. Did have good examples. Did explain how far it agreed with the statement. Okay, but probably didn't have a linking sentences in each paragraph. And although there were some nice connectives used, I thought probably I could have done with a few more. All right, so that's how we'd mark it. So what I want you to do now is to mark your own. Okay, so, so take this criteria that's in front of you and actually mark your own. Okay, you should now okay, have a really clear idea about the ways in which you might improve if you did it again. So you know the process and it gives you one last chance to practice before the exam. So have a quick look at these two questions, choose one of them and run through the whole process again. Okay, plan it, write it and then mark it yourself and you would have done some excellent practice for your 2C and 3C questions. Okay, well done and best of luck with the rest of that.